Hey, this is interesting. After successful heart bypass surgery, Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon, died from internal bleeding when the wires from his temporary pacemaker were removed. Okay, that was definitely more sad than interesting. But removing the pacemaker in any patient, particularly the 1% of infants born with congenital heart defects, can be risky. However, in these cases, temporary pacemakers are needed for a few days until the heart heals and can be normally on its own. And then the pacemaker needs to be removed. For years, Northwestern researchers have been and working to solve this problem and recently came up with and this is the interesting part a tiny not just wireless but dissolvable pacemaker that can be implanted near the surface of the heart with a syringe and then dissolves away when its job is done the pacemaker is literally the size of a grain of rice that contains a microprocessor a tiny battery that transforms chemical into electrical energy and a photo or light activated switch that turns the battery on and off it's all made from natural elements like magnesium zinc and silicon the amount of which is similar or less than what's found in a single multivitamin. Then there's a small wearable patch placed on the skin just above the heart with a small infrared light source and two electrodes that monitor the heart's rhythm. When an arrhythmia or abnormal heart rhythm is detected, it activates the light which is transmitted through the skin to the pacemaker. This turns on the pacemaker's battery, which releases enough electrical energy to revert the heart back to a normal rhythm. The normal rhythm turns off the patch's light, which turns off the pacemaker's battery until another arrhythmia is detected. When the heart is healed, there's no more arrhythmias, the patch is removed and the pacemaker dissolves away. So far, the technology has been successfully tested on animal and human models, but is yet to go through clinical trials to be FDA approved for human patients. But this same technology has the potential for other biomedical devices that could stimulate nerve and bone healing, repair injured tissues, and help manage pain. This exciting technology was funded in part by an NIH grant, which is why it's important for governments to continue to fund and support scientific discoveries that will improve healthcare for everyone, not just now, but in the future. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.